Ohio State team that is out of the top 25 for the first time in 25 weeks. Set to jump center, Mark Williams, the key, and it is controlled by Duke. We'll take a look at tonight's Dove Men Plus Care starting lineups. Again, Moore's been the most consistent. Mancaro gets all the attention, but Keels is like a linebacker playing in the backcourt. Jeremy Rhodes will handle as well. They got four or five great ball handlers. When one rebounds, it's a fast break. Keels, foul line jumper, no good. And the rebound offense tipped back out from Williams, and Duke will control again. When you can't grab the offensive rebound, tip it back. Mark Williams, excellent at that. Ohio State will be in a man to man, and there's a reach in the first foul of the game. Ending up on the floor, Duke player reaching in, picking up the foul. We're going to give the foul to Malachi Branham. That's his first. Wheeler Branham, Justin Orange, great shooter. Liddell needs some help. Maybe it'll come from the inside presence of Key. Keels way off with a three. Keels has been struggling with this shot. Four of 20 coming into this game in his last two. Both he and Jeremy Roach have not shot the ball well, although they have played well. This is the matchup. Liddell versus Bancaro. Fade away. And that's too hard, too. And you can tell everybody's a little amped up here in front of almost 20,000. Liddell guarding Bancaro on the other end. He's got to play good defense without fouling. Williams denies Key the ability to back in. Bancaro, the last time the Sun was cramping up after an unbelievable first half against Gonzaga. With a left and a bucket. A really good play by Wendell Moore. You mentioned he's been Duke's most consistent player. I think he's been Duke's best player. He's not their most talented. That's Bancaro, but did a smart job of going right back in to Justin Arts. Got past him and drew that contact, went body seeking, and still finished that play. And, you know, Carl Wendell Moore is averaging 18 points, six rebounds, six assists, shooting over 50% from the field, almost two steals per game. He's the only player of the country in the country averaging over 17, six, and six. Yeah. And he's shooting over 50%. Missed the free throw. Going to be a tough test for Arns to keep more off the board. Two zip just underway. The ACC Big Ten Challenge. And so far dominated by the Big Ten. This game really for Ohio State, Ravi, is about handling pressure. Can they handle the ball pressure? The contesting of passing lanes? and still run good offense in the half court. Shot clock was down to about three, and then the turnover as we take a look at Coach Krzyzewski. Last year, trying to do what has only been done a couple of times, John Wooden, one of those to win a national championship in his last year. And now Bancaro out top. He's got a height advantage with Liddell. Knocks the ball away. And now Bancaro turns it over. Bancaro just plays with the ball a little bit too much out front. He doesn't need to make moves to get into his move. Just play strong and power it. Just one hard dribble and go. With just a little miss mishandling of the ball on that handoff action. Now McGuire, the other coach, to call in 77 to win a championship in his last year. Liddell looks for Arns. He's their best pure shooter. He all the way in the hole. Good move by Zed Key to get it rolling for Ohio State. Zed Key starting this game. They had Joey Brunk starting the last couple, but Key gives them a little bit more offense. Really good around the basket. Into the paint and right into the traffic. Good gap pressure there by Jamari Wheeler. Duke has to see a lot of red bodies in this game. Can't just be one-on-one. -on -one. Lefty rolls. He had great spin on it. Jeremy Roach, the sophomore in Leesburg, Virginia. Jamari Wheeler's got to get his shoe on. they got to inbound at first. His, his shoe has kind of come off. And there's nothing the referee can do about it. No, he's looking for some help from Courtney Green. Rob Riley and Bo Borowski are officials. Key just set a massive screen that caught Roach on the chin. Chris Holtman's dealing with some pretty significant injuries. A couple of his key players are out. 
Seth Towns is dealing with a back injury, hopefully back mid-December. Eugene Brown is in the concussion protocol. Maybe the most important guy is Justice Suing, who was, in a lot of ways, a release valve for this Buckeye team. Well, Justice Suing transferred in from Cal, and he's a double-figure scorer that can really get to the free-throw line. A versatile defender, so not having him in the lineup is really hurtful. Foul line jump to that, making the bottom. Good pull up there, and it's 4 4 running ahead and turning the ball over. Malachi Brown can knock down that mid range jumper. Just a freshman. 6 5, long arms, can rip and run. He's got a really good pull up, as you just saw. But he is going to be a really good player. Just a, almost a little rub screen. So a screen not really set. You just have to get around that, and it's difficult. Here he goes again. This time he pulls up off the window. Back-to-back -back buckets for a former Mr. Basketball in Ohio who asked Jimmy Jackson if I could wear 22. The number's retired, and he was given 22. Well, he's off to a good start. That's important for a freshman to get off to a good start in this kind of game. Roach three, no good. Good box out that time. Bancaro couldn't come down with it. And here are the Buckeyes with a two-point lead at the 16-minute mark. A high-low action. He getting good position. And he's going to and he went right into the body of Mark Williams, took away his shot blocking ability. And Zed Key is a back to the basket scorer with a 7 1 wingspan that is really powerful as he's shown thus far in the game. A good game. start for Ohio State. He sure is. Had a game winner against Akron opening night. Ohio State's played in a handful of really close games. That's a contested shot. And the Buckeyes have come away with it. Duke struggling from the floor early. Two of six. Ohio State's defense has been good. Very good gap presence. But Duke has to do a better job of getting into the paint and getting to the rim. Can't settle for jump shots in this game. They keep feeding Zed Key. Backing Williams all the way under. And access denied by Williams. That shows his shot blocking prowess. Blocks six shots for 40 minutes. And they turn that block into a three-point play by Roach. Duke is very good in transition. They've got four different guys that can grab a rebound and bring it up. So you don't have to outlet it. You're that much faster in the open floor. Uh, Young getting set to check in for Ohio State. Theo John also on deck for Duke. Mark Williams said that well, not as well as I did. You nailed it. said that well. That's true. Take a look at tonight's Sonic Blockbuster. Duke's ranked number one. Now, all these superlatives in the left side speak to just how successful and great Coach K has been in 42 years. More weeks, he has coached more games and has more wins as a number one than any coach in NCAA history. Good job by Wendell Moore to take away Branham's backdoor look. That was designed for a backdoor. And so far, E.J. Liddell has had challenge shots, and he's been fading away from the basket. Theo John into the game. And that one is too strong. And Carroll, he's off two to start tonight's game. Kyle Young did such a nice job defensively. He is a very good player that doesn't get the credit he deserves for how valuable he is to this Ohio State team. Deflected out of bounds off Wendell Moore into the game. Michi Johnson, he's the freshman out of Cleveland, Ohio. He had a big game winner against Seton Hall. It feels like every time we talk about the short season so far for Ohio State you're talking about buzzer beaters or getting beaten at the buzzer they've had three to start in the final seconds yeah four of their six games came down to sort of one possession and you know they lost a tough one to Florida where they turned it over 18 times against Florida's pressure and that's going to be key in this game high young kick that three is off and it was off to the right from Jamari Wheeler Rowski says off a Duke player it'll be Ohio State basketball Jamari Wheeler number 55 one of the best defenders in the Big Ten transferred in from Penn State and he shoots a good percentage from three he just doesn't take many of them he needs to be a more consistent scorer for Ohio State but he is an excellent defender that's two time all defensive team in the Big Ten. Yeah, when Penn State played Ohio State in football, he was seen on the large scoreboard saying beat Penn State, where he spent four years. He's heard about that. Great ball fake. And the three. Well, you talk about Jamari Wheeler, and he delivers. Well, he takes open threes. That's why he makes a good percentage. 
But that was a great fake and sidestep and had plenty of time to shoot it. Ben Carroll and Kyle Young. A good defense by Young. That elbow isolation is difficult to guard, but he's guarded it well. Seven on the shot clock. Penetration fade away. No good ball on the rim and Ohio State rips it down. There's been a lot of dribbling not a lot of movement for Duke give Ohio State's defense great credit for that kick open three too strong Good hustle by Liddell. What a play and keeps it alive. What a play by EJ Liddell I sewed in the post against Theo John And one it will go to the free throw line, E.J. Liddell's first two points tonight. E.J. Liddell is so difficult to guard because he can take a big guy out on the floor, knock down threes, but he can turn over either shoulder and shoot that turnaround jumper. And not a lot of players can do that. But does a great job of getting fouled. He shoots close to seven free throws a game. And he's got to get to the line in this one. And you talked about it, Holly. That play started with Liddell's hustle to keep that ball alive that was going out of bounds. Absolutely. And, Jay, what you're talking about, he prides himself on being a three-level scorer. He went to the G League Combine. It didn't have a great experience there. He didn't quite get the feedback he wanted. Knew he had to improve his jump shot, and he's done that. But you see his size and strength down low is still so powerful for him. Well, his jump shot didn't need improving. I mean, they, you get that feedback. They'll always tell a guy that they don't think is going to be drafted as high as he wants to that you need to improve your perimeter game You need to improve your perimeter defense. That's that's a standard thing that, that they're told But he's been an excellent shooter his entire career at Ohio State and a great scorer Joey Baker the senior into the game with a nice layup inside cuts the lead down to four Liddell was an undersized five man when he got here. That's a great just a great hustle play and a great save and great presence to get it out to Jamari Wheeler. But one on one in the post, he's going to be a load to guard. He can face up. He can actually get out of that just to sort of back dribble and take I think take Theo John on off the dribble. Too deep and an easy layup off the window for Trevor Keels who goes six four. And 220 pounds, and that was a bad turnover. And no, no on the shot off the window from Keels. Ohio State was lucky there. Nobody was there to get the inbound pass. The guards inbound it. And when there was a miscommunication, Jamari Wheeler would have been better off just taking a five-second call. Michi Johnson, that's a turnover, a problem. And here comes Moore. He lays it in. And that's the problem, Ravi, with turnovers is... You know, you can't defend a run out. Ohio State in five on five has defended very well. When you're not as strong with the ball as you need to, Duke is very good at knocking it away and getting good pressure. Good pass ahead by the surprises from the likes of Coach K, Kevin Durant, Naomi Osaka, and Drake. Really cool way to support an important cause. You can visit the website to learn more. It's our buddy Dick Vitell getting some good news on his scan recently. And no more important week for us than V Week with all that ESPN does to support the V Foundation. And I think Ohio State needs to try to get a shot for Justin Arns. Instead, it's Liddell in the paint. Mm, strong. Right over the outstretched arm of Theo John. He combines great strength with really good skill. I mean, he has a beautiful shooting touch. We may have gotten away with an elbow there. He sort of sent that left elbow out, but John not called, and he gets the bucket. Well, John always wants to get back to that left shoulder for a right-handed hook and had really good minutes against Gonzaga coming in to spell Mark Williams, who was absolutely spectacular in that game. Just a bad pass. Yeah, it was. Joey Baker had an arm out in the passing lane. You got to make a pass fake first. Buckeyes have five turnovers early. John going to work there. Pretty play over Liddell with the right hand. Same move. Going back to that left shoulder. Going to get a foul on Moore. You see number one, Jimmy Sotos is into the game. Due to some injuries, he's getting some more time. Big Ten ACC Challenge. It's the 23rd edition. And tomorrow, Louisville takes on number 22, Michigan State. That's game 1-7-15. Then, Hunter Dickinson and Michigan square off against Carolina and Armando Baycott. Two great matchups on ESPN and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. 
Young baseline again in the paint and Ohio State trying to score in the paint. They've done a nice job so far with eight of their 15 inside the paint. 14 of Duke's 17 have been in the paint. Well, it's just a difficult shot for Kyle Young in there having to go over the outstretched arms of Mark Williams, who's just a, a unique player, just a big time shot blocker. Bancaro looking for points one and two. That's too strong. He's been a little strong here to start the game. We're at the halfway mark of the first half. If Bancaro grabs a rebound, he can bring it up himself. Four different guys on the floor can do that. What a luxury that Coach K has. Bancaro got hit. Oh, and he makes the scoop shot off the window for his first two of the night and a highlight reel. Just not a great foul by E.J. Liddell. He was angling him out toward the corner. Just make him make a tough two. But once he fouled, he stopped. Watch after he fouls. He just stops there and allows him to finish the play. You know, after you're gonna after you make that contact, go ahead and make sure he can't finish it. And Carroll has really improved his shooting since high school. He shot a hard ball as a high school player. And he's gotten more arc in it. It's yeah. a much better shot now. See it right there. And now Duke leads by five. Ben Carroll's got his first three of the night. An 84% free throw shooter. Sotos will bring it up. With one, two, two, three quarter court pressure. And then they trap across half court. You can't pick up your dribble there. And he finds it open. Man, they got numbers here and good hands, but they're going to get a foul on Roach. Reached in. Looked like he may have gotten away with it. But Bill Borowski whistled him for a foul. When you bring the ball across half court against this 1-2-2, two, two, if you pick up your dribble, you're toast. But Jamari Wheeler got out of it. Good call on the rake across the arms. Branham had key underneath, and then he threw a bad pass to him. And it got tipped. But what, what Ohio State does on those drives is they'll just put a big guy to post right in the middle of the lane that occupies that middle defender And then if there's help you can just drop it off Williams is seven feet Zed key is six eight This may be a, a play you can get for arms here yeah, they didn't they didn't run they usually run on the screen for the screener there he is you asked for the first shot that was in and out He was looking for a foul on the arm and that's a new turnover Good pressure by young Now it's Roach to lose it out of bounds Arms doesn't miss many open shots. He's an excellent three-point shooter And I think Jeremy Roach thought he was gonna get the foul there Nudged out of bounds by Wendell Moore, and that's Wendell's second foul with 9:18 to go in the first half. Arns is really good with the shot fake. What he likes to do when he gets it at the three-point line is shot fake, sidestep, and then take that three. But <laughs> Wendell Moore just went for that shot fake and picked up the foul. I just want to get late pressure on that shot. But because he's such a good shooter, that shot fake, he's got shot credibility in that shot fake. Moore goes to the bench. Trevor Keels back in. But what a show Keels put on in that opener against Kentucky and Ty Ty Washington. <laughs> High floater. That one falls. Malachi Branham really used his body well. Branham is going to be, he's a good player now, but just a freshman. Went to St. Vincent, St. Mary High School, the same high school that produced LeBron James. Keels so strong. Boy. He went up and bodied a bigger Zed key right out of the way. He's basically a football player really with is. great basketball skill. Branham got picked off on that high ball screen. Wasn't called out and Zed key's got to be up there. You have to stay connected and make sure you cut that off because once he turns the corner, he's going to be body seeking and he'll get to the free throw line. Uh, get fouled. He'll take the shot, get fouled or both. Made the free throw off the backboard, then the rim. And it's 23 17 in favor of Duke. Blue Devils have won their seven games by an average 
of 21 points. That's a little too strong. And good rebound in traffic by Joey Baker. One thing with Lawrence, he cannot be allowed to shoot the ball from the catch spot. He has to be made to put it on the floor. That's obviously easier said than done, but he's not going to hurt you off the bounce. He's going to hurt you from three. Good hands. Kept alive. Nice job there by Orange. And then the ball is loose. And Bancaro will finish it. Paulo Bancaro stole the ball, chased it down, made the basket, and will go to the free throw line. Great play and awareness by Bancaro. But you just have to be stronger with the ball. Branham tried to dribble it instead of just corral it and take it down the other way. And as a result, he winds up putting a teammate, Jamari Wheeler, in a bad spot who fouled and gave up a bucket, too. Wheeler picks up his first. Bancaro will be looking for a second three-point play of the night. Now this game for Ohio State is about possession over position. They were in a position to take the ball down court. But it was more important to have possession of the ball. They have six turnovers and Key mixing it up with Williams, and they're going to give the foul to Mark Williams. That's what Ohio State likes to do is get into high-low situations. They'll get it to Liddell up top. Zed Key ducks in, and he gets so low, it's hard for Williams to keep him out of the lane. Look how he locks him down inside, wound up picking up a foul. Not an easy angle from which to pass the ball. Each team five fouls. Going back to that box set. Orange oftentimes will set a screen and get a screen, not doing it here. Tough pass, but it stays. Ohio State's basketball with 10 on the shot clock. E.J. Liddell, that's a good pass to Key. Williams recovers a little late. And then he gave up position as said Key. Great feel by Liddell. He knew exactly where Mark Williams was. He was hunting that block shot from the weak side. He saw that Zed Key was wide open as a result. Good pass. Williams with a loud retort. They cleared the middle, just a simple screen roll up top with a hard roll from Mark Williams. He draws a lot of attention. If you don't give it to him, he's going to do that. And a tough pass. That one's off the body of Williams. Well, thunder and lightning here on both sides. E.J. Liddell making a great pass because of the... They push it up the floor, draw it, doesn't settle, racks it, and gets to the line and makes the free throw game over. And thank goodness, because if we wouldn't, if you didn't make those free throws, we wouldn't be up to deal with you. I'd be insufferable. 34 years later, Ravi, a little revenge for Jim Beheim. Yeah, 1987, remember it well in upstate New York. Well, I'm not sure it erases the memory that Beheim's dealing with. Yeah, I think he trades that <laughs> one for this one. <laughs> Just guessing. Back here, 27-19. Duke started three of nine from the floor, and they've gotten real hot. They are nine for their last 11, and they've opened up an eight-point cushion. Bayheim changed his zone for Indiana. It was more of a 1-3-1 one, one configuration, trying to protect the paint a little bit more. First shot, and just into the game, A.J. Griffin. That didn't go well. And now Joey Baker with three on the shot clock. Gets it off high. Arker halfway down. Good rebound by E.J. Liddell. Boxed out A.J. Griffin. So how, do, how does Ohio State get their points? Well, they need to do a better job taking care of the ball. They've been good. You know, they haven't been bad offensively. But they've, been, they've pitched it away a few times. And they need to get shots up every time down. Key goes with the left hand. And he's been their best, most consistent offensive player. I think that's eight points for him. Yep. And, you know, showing a right hand and a left left hand. That's why he's in the game, because he can go one-on-one -on -one in the post. And so far, he's had single coverage. And oh boy, and out top is going to be a foul. It's going to be called on Malachi Branham. This key is so physical and really gets into your body. Gets good position, seals really well, and can finish with either hand. He's also, the speaking of hands, he's the team handyman. He's like the Dwayne Schneider of the Ohio State team. He can <laughs> fix anything. Just install the TV for a teammate, change the battery in his car. 
Did a good job walling up defensively. He also has a pet snake. Ooh. Well, you had me. You had me with all of his abilities in the house. Once we have a pet snake, we're out. Not interested. No. In, uh, no. He has a python. Oh, really? Arns gets fouled by Pancaro on a three-point shot. Yeah, not a smart play. Just want to put late pressure on it. And you've got a player, Justin Arns, who's a great shooter that hasn't seen the ball go through the net. Now he gets three free throws. Where do you buy a python? From a reptile store. I don't have time to educate you on snakes, but I, I asked him. So his, his snake, it's a ball python, and its name is Seven. Bald, ball, ball, python. ball python. Okay. That, they don't get they don't get all that big. But I was you know, I, I was thinking the name Seven had to come from Seinfeld from George Costanza, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but when he goes on road trips, okay. uh, he has to he has to leave a little food in there, and I'm sure it's not pleasant for the food. How's the room? Did you get into the roommate? His his feeling about the snake? I, I don't think a roommate that if, if your roommate has a snake, I don't think you say much. You certainly don't want to have a pet mouse if you no. Nope. You snake. wouldn't have that very long. I don't think. Dukes had great success driving and getting into the lane. Good help by Kyle Young there. Roach now tries going to the corner. That's a tough shot running and fading away. And it's a miss for Wendell Moore. Not a chance down five to cut it. And Arns just lost. Ooh. Jeremy Roach got a hand on the ball. Arns did a good job. You know, Wendell Moore has got two fouls. And he had an angle on him, decided to take advantage of that, see if he could pick up number three or get something easy as a result. But Ohio State's got to do something to free up arms. They like to set, you know, bring him around with a little fade screen. But he needs to get some open looks. Jamari Wheeler just literally handed the ball away and then either he or Young committed a frustration foul. Ninth turnover. As we remind everybody, the ACC Big Ten Challenge or Big Ten ACC Challenge for the women with Michigan and number 10 Louisville. That's 12 and 10, 7 Eastern time. And then Duke against number 9 Iowa Cameron Indoor. Both games, ESPN, the app one, app one tap. 7 and 9 o'clock Eastern time on Thursday. Louisville's got a good team. Deanna Smith is their best player. Shoots 42% from three. Emily Inksler, really good three-point shooter, their top rebounder. He's look shooting over 50% from three. Look at you. And you have the Louisville men tomorrow night. Yeah, I've got uh, Louisville and Michigan State in the Breslin Center. In the Izzo. Coach Izzo down in the Bahamas with Jimmy Dykes. It's a good team. Gabe Brown has tremendous hops. Talk about playing with energy. Yeah, you had Jimmy Dykes hanging out with Sea Lions. And that was uncomfortable, but better than Snakes. Certainly Pythons. I did. I, I missed the. I did miss the Elvis. I wish we could bring that back. But we will. Liddell three good. That was a deep ball, and that's what EJ Liddell can do. He can take Theo John away from the bucket and create some space. He bangs with Kyle Young. He fades away. Young keeps it alive. And into the corner, Bang Carroll knocks it down. That's the three ball. Ohio State was looking to go on the break. Justin Arns was turning the other way before they had secured the ball. All five guys have to stay in rebound. They didn't. It cost them a three. A foul out top on Trevor Keels. The 50-50 ball so far being won by Duke. Well, if you're going to get a 50-50 ball, you got to stay around to get it. Yeah. And the instinct to go the other way. Now watch when this... Oh, this is EJ Liddell, the deep three. He's got Theo John on him. John had to give him a little bit of space so Liddell wouldn't drive it. And that space is all EJ Liddell needs. I mean, he is an excellent three-point shooter. He shoots over 41% from three. Excellent offensive rebounder, and he's a terrific shot blocker. He blocks about four shots a game. E.G. Johnson gets a chance for the free throw and misses it. Here's a 50-50 ball. That's deflected. Well, Chris Holtman said that should have been our ball. 
it looked like Cedric Russell got the transfer from Louisiana. Russell's a really good shooter. Hung 26 on Baylor playing for Louisiana. He wears number two. Senior guard, 6'2", 190. Just got a shot of Chris Holtman there, who's, I think, one of the finest young coaches in the game. Started his career coaching at Gardner-Webb and then was an assistant to Brandon Miller when uh, Brandon had to, to leave the game and Holtman took over for him. He's a, just a, an outstanding young coach. This is Bancaro, free throw line extended. He dribbled right into that shot. And he's warming up now in double figures. Got a switch, had Zed Key on him. And I think he can go by Key, but that shows the improvement that Bancaro's made in his shooting. Key was Ooh. wide open. And that's going to be a foul on Bancaro. He ended up hitting Young in the face. And as they said in the hangover, not up in here. In the face. Physical and a great pressure on the basketball. Great start, Ravi and Jay. So, of course, you started, Duke. Is, it, is there an old school feel to this team? Well, with the way they're defending, it's new school and how athletic they are and versatile. Mm -hmm. But it's old school in that they're getting more ball pressure. They're getting out in passing lanes more. But Ohio State has eight turnovers. And I think if you're in the Ohio State film room, they would say, hey, you know, these turnovers weren't forced. Yeah, pretty and, drive and a lane for more. Yeah, just too big of an angle there. You know, you're trying to take away. I think they were expecting a ball screen. But it just opened up the lane, and it was a, an easy straight line drive for Wendell Moore. This is a big four minutes, Ravi, for Ohio yeah. State. They got to cut into this lead and not let Duke increase it as they go into halftime. Barnes contested right on halfway down and out young had an offensive rebound and it went out of bounds on him one other thing to look at too free throws Ohio State's missed five of them and that's five points they could have had been a lot closer yeah, just too that's too easy of an angle you, know, you have to stay straight up on the ball and you get a straight line drive right down the middle and you can't let Duke go down Main Street they've got too many points in the paint for Chris Holtman's liking Arms goes to the bench. He's 0 for 3. And all three of those were three-point field goal attempts. That's an offensive foul. Yep, he lowered that shoulder. And his third. Paulo Bancaro will come out of the game with three minutes to go and three fouls. He just lifted up that right arm. The fulcrum. Good position. Just gave that little bump with that right arm. And knocked Kyle Young off balance. Hey, watch it. You run into Bancaro at 6'10, 250, or Keel, 6'4, 221. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. Three pointer needed. And they've got a big three point shot, Cedric Russell. Yeah, we talked about Cedric Russell, his ability to shoot the ball. Look out. He passed it over there to Wendell Moore. He wasn't ready for it. Ohio State said he had it. Presence in the front court ended up having it deflecting at the back court. You have to have both. You have to have your body and the ball over for it to be an over and back. Heels ball fake. Too strong. Iowa State's got to stick down on these fakes. That was not a shot you needed to leave the floor for. When you're a defender, especially in a jump shot, you always want to be second to leave the floor. Mm, reach in on Williams. Williams has two fouls. Ohio State has to start making they moves Michigan into the college football playoffs. A lot of times on this campus, they're waiting for football to end, which means, you know, college football playoff, maybe a championship here. You get a crowd really looking forward to seeing as Key misses the first free throw. Well, what? I just don't think, I don't see how Ohio State can eliminate the letter M. They can take an entire letter out of the al uh, alphabet. You can see they've every M on campus has an X through. But if, if anything happens to you tonight, tonight, Ravi, I'd be happy to take you to the Edical Center. <laughs> get, get any Edical attention I, yes. I need. They've got a good Edison program here at Ohio State. Ooh, not fouled and fallen to the ground after he shot it was Roach really this game has come down to Ohio State to turnovers and free throws yep take care of the ball make your free throws 
you have a chance to win. Liddell, seven points. Elvin Sheck coming off a week in which he averaged 25 and a half. Ten on the shot clock, another long three. That's too strong. Good box out by Theo John on set key. Good take, and he went with that right hand, had some spin. Wendell Moore is so strong going to the basket. That's been a big difference in his game this year, has been his strength. He, he's such a great leader. I'm not sure there's anybody in America having a better year than Wendell Moore is having. Last time a number one team came into this ESPN in the actual and beat the Sixers, Trey Young and the Hawks, 7.30 Eastern 7. And Paul George and the Clippers square off against the Lakers, who are sitting at 11 and 11 at the Staples Center. Our coverage card starts NBA countdown at 7 Eastern time. Duke in a little 2-3 zone after the timeout. Give Ohio State a little bit of a different look. Turn around and shot. Free throw line, no good. Young could have grabbed that instead. He tried to slap it out. And here comes a pretty lay in for Jeremy Roach. It was one on two, and he kept going. And give credit to Wendell Moore for the great pass ahead and the creative finish with the left hand by Jeremy Roach. Duke is really dangerous in transition. Just a typical rebound off a missed shot. They turned it into a layup on the other end. Liddell, one more time. Tough pass, good hands from Young, and here they go again. Roach, Mark Baker, got it! That is a smart pass by Jeremy Roach. Didn't have it with the three that were coming down, so just took a little back dribble and gave it to Joey Baker coming down for the step-in three. That's a really smart play. JB, this was 27-22, and Ohio State had the ball trailing by five. It's now a 14-point lead and a last-second shot. It'll be key. No good. Liddell, that will not count. He did not get it off in time. A 7-0 run to end it. And the Blue Devils who started 3 of 9, end up 18 of 34, shooting 50. But it wouldn't have counted if there was no foul. But the foul occurred before the half ended. Yeah, Bo Borowski was kind enough to come over and give us the interpretation that the foul was committed at point one by rule. There are two free throws. The basket doesn't count. And another missed free throw by an outstanding, you know, good free throw shooter in E.J. Liddell. The free throw line is killing Ohio State in this game. Seven two points. Four nine. Yep, seven points. So point one, what we're calling timeouts. <laughs> In other restaurants, gift certificates to give out, but it sure is wonderful. So if you're not getting Domino's, skip the delivery apps and order directly from a local restaurant. All right, so a timeout call with point one, Bates Jones, who was a, who was a quarterback in high school, must have been, and that was nearly deflected in by Moore. Big time finish for Duke at the end of the first half. Wendell Moore been leading them all season. And Popper won those 28 points in the paint, but five steals, nine turnover scores, and guys, 13 points off those turnovers is really the difference in this ball game right now, but he is concerned a little bit about the foul trouble. Paolo Bancara will play in the second half of those three fouls. He said he's going to have to play through it. We need him out there. We've got to eliminate the silly kind of ticky-tack fouls on the perimeter. A couple of guys got in trouble with that. Underway with the second half of our Sonic Blockbuster matchup, and out of the Break first shot missed by the Buckeyes. Good pass down low and from behind the block. Jump ball. That's, that shows the amazing timing of EJ Liddell. He's so long armed. But watch how he comes from behind here and gets it with his right hand. That's just all ball. Averaging about four blocks per game. And it's not like he's a seven footer. And Wendell Moore had a great first half at 10 points, six rebounds, four assists, and starts off the second half as well as he played in the first. He's just, he has turned into a great player. He was the player of the week last week, leads the ACC in assists. And you heard about his voice and the message that was sent with about 12 minutes to go. That Gonzaga game, he took over that huddle. And the players take over, that's a huge sign, and he did. 
One thing I've noticed about Duke here too, anytime off of a made basket, they are down the other end shooting within a, or at least with a chance to shoot within about five seconds. Well, it's because their big guys run. I mean, Mark Williams, that was a great rim run, and Zed Key was just late getting there. That puts a lot of pressure on opposing big guys to really run the floor and can wear them out. It happens time and time again. 15 point lead inside. Pretty left handed move by Zed Key. With one on one in the post, just a, a little shake. And then back to that right shoulder with the left hand. He can shoot that little short hook with either either hand. Wendell Moore said he liked his matchup. Orange blocked the first one. He stuck with it. And Moore, four to start the second half. Well, he's going to take Orange on every opportunity. Duke has been driving the ball. They need to see more red bodies because right now it's been one on one and they're beating their man. Liddell. That's blocked. Williams picks up another one. He's got a couple in this game off a game in which he had a half dozen. Well, he got that one basically picking up Liddell after he got by Paulo Bancaro. But look at this rim run because that's really smart and difficult to do for a big guy but he runs the floor so effectively after a make or a miss then carol plays with three fouls lane was open and no goaltend williams went up like in slow motion he met the basketball far above the rim on its way down well it's not all bad i mean you obviously give up a bucket but you also announce that you're here <laughs> Buckeyes need a stop. 49-36. More again? No. Off the front iron. A little zoom action. A little screen into a handoff, and that uh, that was a difficult shot for Wendell Moore. Kyle Young, he throws up the hook, and that may very well have been affected by the prior block. He got rid of that so quick, aware of the ability of Williams to block it. And Arrow, no good. Young over Williams. That's better. Knocks down a three. Pulls him within 10. Kyle Young is an improved shooter. An excellent roller in pick and rolls. And he just plays so hard. In the paint, Roach again. And they have owned the paint tonight. Duke gets the ball down court so quickly. Of the teams I've seen this year, Duke and Gonzaga yeah. are yep. the best in transition. Something Mark Few said, it's one of the few teams that can match our speed. And they pass ahead so well. Yeah, it's not just the fact that they run with it, they pass ahead. And the ball moves faster than you can move. Roach, not only did he commit the foul, he then got landed on. And Kyle Young goes 6'8", 225. That's Roach's second. A little mismatch just went right through his arm. Mm -hmm. When that arm was on him, you know, he's going to pick up that contact. But Kyle Ar or excuse me, Justin Arns has not seen no. the ball. I mean, he can't get an open shot. Tried there, and he released it quickly, and that one finds the bottom. Coming off the screen to the ball, ready to shoot. He needs to get going. Lead is nine, Williams too deep, and that's going to be a foul. Liddell knew he was going to commit that and not allow Williams to lay it up and in. Kyle Arch just gets a, a double screen, the second one coming from Young, and he comes off that thing ready to fire. That lefty, I mean, all of his offense comes to the three-point line. Yesterday, to the press, Justin Arns was, was saying, I think the cat's out of the bag with me. I'm a three-point shooter. <laughs> yeah. Justin Arms comes by that shot pretty naturally. He said his older brother Kyle used to just drag him to workouts. He said, I didn't ever want to go, but he would drag me and my little twin brother AJ, and we used to just pray for times like this. Look at his tweet as he hugs his brother when they face Michigan State as opponents. He said, I wouldn't be where I am today if my older brother didn't force me in to do it. And he said, I just really think it's important that I kept working. At first, I didn't want to be there, but then I wanted to. And look at this pretty shot. 
Um, actually, the student has surpassed the master, though. And look at those career three-point numbers, 42%. That is pretty good form. Sure is. And that's going to be a turnover. It went off Liddell. Yeah, the Orange Brothers, the Hauser Brothers, a whole bunch of brother combinations. I'm sure Big Brother said, no, no, you are coming. I know you don't want to, but you're coming. Usually the little brother wants to tag along. Little horn set up top. And then a quick post up for Bancaro. Just give it to him, he's open. Liddell with two fouls. Down the air and he blocked Ben Carroll. And here comes Ohio State. Good defense. His timing is absolutely exquisite. It is hard to block a shot on the ball. It's one thing to have a weak side shot block. It is tough to block him on the ball. The arms fading away from deep. And he comes up short. Roach, tough shot, no good. And there's a 50-50 ball deflected by Bancaro off Arns. Duke with it and a three. Waddell, he will hold off and the foul is going to be called on Theo John. Ohio State is trying to dribble that ball when it's loose. You got to grab it first. Duke going to put some full court pressure on Ohio State, make it difficult for them to advance it, get some non handlers to try to handle it. So Moore and Jamari Wheeler go chest to chest. Such a physical Duke team this year. Well, they're athletic at every position. Yeah, they make you work for everything. And they can switch one through four. They got to E.J. Liddell, who goes hard to the hole, double team, fade away. Oh, we get a foul on the arm. Theo John extended that hand, and he got the arm. That's three on John. Liddell just got an angle, stopped, gave a little fake, and did, he did catch him on the arm. Well, Liddell also struggled from the free throw line. The team is only three of ten, and he missed two in the first half. And he misses another one. Holly? Well, guys, one of the reasons E.J. Liddell ended up here at Ohio State is he grew up loving Ohio State football. He actually played football through the eighth grade, and he said, basketball chose me. I just decided I wasn't going to be a football player. He said, I was a chubby kid. I had a natural football body, but I just was too skilled at basketball, and he decided to focus all his efforts here. But he's got a little toughness to him. You see him sometimes in the low post. Looks a little footballish. Sure does. So does the entire Duke team. There's a turnover. And two more missed free throws. Now three of 12. Ohio State. And too much dribbling. And the ball on the floor. Kicked. And the run out. Liddell with a block. Roach had it. He gets it blocked. Ohio State with a rare run out. Three on one. Three pointer from the corner is an air ball. But they have had opportunities. But when you get a three on one. I mean, it's not that that was a bad shot, but you'd rather attack the basket and get something easy. I mean, Ohio State's only down 11, right? and with all the free throws they've missed, the turnovers not being as strong with the ball as they need to, I mean, they'd be right right there. And I, I agree with you, but isn't the game today now, You mean, how many two-on-ones have you seen where one would peel to the three-point line and he ends up getting the ball and you're shooting a three? Well, oddly enough, when you attack the basket, it actually opens up the three-point line even more. But I think when you get a layup, you take a layup. 23rd annual Big Ten ACC Challenge continues tomorrow. Lower Belt takes on number 22, Michigan State. Our first game at 7:15, and then Hunter Dickinson and Michigan square off against North Carolina. Two really good matchups. ESPN, the ESPN app, one app, and one tap. That shot missed. Williams will pick up the foul. Williams has three now. A whole bunch of Duke players now with. Two or three fouls. John's got three. Bancaro's got three. Williams has three. Cedric Russell back into the ball game. The transfer from Louisiana knocked down a three in the first half. He's a really good shooter. If they can spring him, you know, Ohio State just needs to string together a couple scores, couple stops. 
get the crowd back into it. There's still a long way to go in this game, and they are only down 11. Ted Key had a good first half, and now he's one on one with a shot blocker, Williams. Over him, does not get the roll, and Williams rips it down. Whenever there's one on one in the post, Ohio State's been standing and watching. There's not a lot of cutting or screening off the ball. That's too strong. Many of his shots tonight have been a little strong, a little long. Will he develop the three-pointer? He takes a lot of the mid-range twos. Will he continue to try to develop a three-point shot or no? Yes. Oh, absolutely. He's got a good touch. Yeah. But his game has to continue to be the, to attack. He's so good off the dribble. And I think when he eliminates some of the extra dribbles he has and just becomes more of a power player than a finesse one, he'll be even better. Shot blocked by Roach, and here comes Ohio State. Two on one, Arns, three ball. Will get it. Well, it took a while to go down, but it does, and they're back within six, and the crowd is back into it here at the Schottenstein Center. Fifty percent from the field in the second half, seven of fourteen. You see, Duke has not scored in the last three forty-nine, zero for seven, and they are four for fifteen this half. Ohio State starting to make some threes. That was a big one there by Orange that rattled around and went down, and it's a new ball game. Six points. Ohio State got it off of a turnover, and Duke after the timeout going with a low cross screen for the screener, get it into Williams down low. Williams really difficult shot that's to the left side of the rim and since Russell's come into the game team has looked a little different well they've rallied to the ball really well and Duke can't settle for jump shots but give Ohio State credit they are battling Williams back down left-hander a little too strong well, it's tough to shoot over Mark Williams. Okay. Even when the ball goes in there, Ohio State still needs some action off the ball. Russell could have set a little fade screen for Arns there to bring him back to the ball and be more of a threat. And Caro, aggressive. And it looked like Key will say he went straight up and didn't come down with the hands, but the foul on Zed Key will send Ben Caro to the line to shoot a couple. 53-40. Key has actually done a sweat test on Paolo to analyze his test, and you can see him here. He is a heavy sweater. He loses about seven pounds per game, so they're having him drink a special fluid called BOA. It's an oxygenated fluid that will actually absorb immediately once it goes in his mouth to help him not have cramps. This is a very unusual issue, but they are all over it, and I love the sports science helping keeping their big man on the floor. All about the science. Solid, thank you very much. Seven pounds a game. Yeah, he dropped seven pounds in a game, and it's remarkable. Jeff Bytomsky, the, the team doctor, the analytics they have on all the players and what it takes them in recovery to get back to where they started. I mean, they have a plan for what Paolo Bancaro has to drink after every practice and what he had to drink today and eat. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. Hmm. There used to be a plan on what Bill Raftery drank, but it was vastly <laughs> different. <laughs> Alley oop, good pass. Bancaro found Williams. Really good pass. Just lifted up the defense and then Williams rolls hard to the basket. And you can throw it as high as you want, and he seemingly can go get it. Little four old run, Jay, back to ten. Billy Baker right there on the catch with arms so that he can't catch and shoot. Key. Williams has three fouls and now triple team. Good pass. Russell wide open. Three. That's just a great pass. And Liddell was strong with it. It got knocked away, but he didn't let him take it away. That's a big bucket for Ohio State. Now they need to stop. They love to isolate Van Caro on this left elbow. More on Orange. 
Tough shot inside the paint. Lauren Tad Williams picks up his fourth foul. Barnes did a good job of sticking with it. Moore got an angle, but Arns did not give up on the play. Boy, he went after that rebound with both hands. He just used that elbow to get past, couldn't make it, and then Arns went up with both hands for that rebound in a crowd. Some foul concerns for Duke right now as Williams goes to the bench with four. Theo John, who takes his place, has three. And without Williams in the game, even though Theo John can block shots, I mean, he led the Big East in block shots when he was at Marquette. I think you have to really attack the rim here. Russell does so. Not good. And Bancaro clears. And he dribbled into traffic, able to keep it alive. Roach will not pull the trigger. And we'll start over with 20 on the shot clock. Heels has been quiet tonight, two of seven, five points. So he throws a high hook shot off the window. Roach, that's off, and this time Young comes away with it. And Ohio State pushes. Arns, not that time. Liddell came over everybody, and he maybe banged up. Went down hard. Well, he was high up there. He was. Well, Arns does not need much time to get that shot off. Substitution in the game for the Buckeyes, number 23, Seth Eaton. Also in the game, number 22, Malachi Branham. Russell will go to the bench. Malachi Branham back in. Also to the bench, Michi Johnson. And this game is about getting stops for Ohio State. They've had opportunities. There's horn set that's two up top, two deep in the corner. Baker, tough fade away. That's an air ball. Oh, that is not a good shot. And Justin Arms has to stop going to that little ball fake. It opened up the middle. And Baker's not going to go baseline on that. He will work. Good cut. On John, he's got three. He'll look to get it right back. Instead, he moves off it. 10 on the shot clock, Arns, right hand no good, rebound no by Key. A rare drive from Justin Arns. Got a switch. Bankero. Just a tough shot. I mean, Duke is settling for some really difficult shots right now. It's two in a row. Five for 22 this half. Duke, they've missed 17 of their 22 shots. And Ohio State has tightened up its defense. It's not allowing as many middle drives. And that's really what the, the Ohio State defense wants to do. Make Duke take tough twos. And the last several possessions, that's been the result. Strike you, they've missed 17 shots. They're 5 of 22, and yet they still lead by 7. It's like they've been, they can't get closer than 7, 5. They're stuck there. Well, they can't string buckets together. I mean, they've had opportunities, and they've, you know, turned it over again to get a little bump. I mean, Branham just got a little bump there and lost control of the ball. It's just, a, it's about, I mean, it's easy to say, but it's about being strong with the ball. That, that wasn't a turnover that was forced. That was a turnover that was unforced. It feels like Duke has given Ohio State so many opportunities. He try to double team Bancaro dribbles right out of it. It's a hard drive, and there's a block by Key. Like Bancaro may have rolled an ankle as he rolled it. He didn't get great explosiveness on his jump, but Key is whistled for the foul. Bancaro will shoot two. One week of what you give goes to cancer research. That's really one of the amazing things of the V Foundation is every penny that you give goes directly to the bottom line. It goes to cancer research. And so you know your money is well spent. And our good friend and colleague and legend Dick Vitale battling lymphoma right now and always sending our best and our love to Dickie V. Good news on the scans. And he's feeling good, a little tired, which is to be expected doing his travel, but Got a chance to see him when he first returned, and you recognize again how impactful he is in a lot of ways. College basketball.
Duke's second half, they started four of eight since one of 14, but they've only turned it over one time. Key got it down low, and he hesitated, but we're going to get something on John here. And now John and Williams each with four fouls. Nice adjustment after the timeout. Ohio State lifted up Duke's defense and opened up the middle. And a little hesitation, John just came right over his shoulder. Now, this has been the Achilles heel for Ohio State. Free throw shooting. Boy, that was long from the release. Yeah, Zed Key's like a 51% free throw shooter. And he's not proficient at the line, but everybody has joined in the act of missing free throws for Ohio State. If they knock these down, we're looking at a different, different ballgame. But still, it's within reach. There is a long way to go. 59-51. And they made their free throws. They have the lead here. Four of 14. They've missed 10 of them. That ball is good. Three-pointer. Kind of a quieter from Keels. Well, Keels have struggled shooting the ball. He hasn't struggled in other aspects of the game, but he was 4 of 20, only 2 of 12 from 3. In his last two games coming in. Caught up in the air and able to get rid of it in time. Now with 10 on the shot clock, the baseline drive reverse. Good play. And a hard take by Malachi Branham. Yeah, strong move. He's had a good game overall. Moore with key forcing him out. Bank Carroll pops not for the three. The drive, no good. Loose ball. It's the Buckeyes. Ohio State can have numbers if they get a ball down the floor. Okay, John just picked up his fifth foul. He did. He got in a wrestling match underneath the key. So John is out of the game, and Williams is going to come back in with four. This is a big story in this game. John just got both arms wrapped around him. Referee standing right there. So now Liddell the next to try the whole free throw. Zed P, I should say. And Zed is two for four. The last one kind of sat on the rim before it rolled in. A little more arc that time, and it finds the bottom. Sophomore on a base shore New York. A lot better that time. And the lead is seven for Duke. Yeah, that's a trouble. He has took an extra step. And a turnover by Duke. Give credit to Jamari Wheeler. Is right there on the catch. Made the catch difficult. And then recovered. He's such a good defender. Now Ohio State starting to feel like they have a little bit of mojo. But you got to follow up a stop with a score. Three seniors, six grad transfers on this Buckeye team. They are an old group. Key in the lane. No good. Battles for it. Kept alive, but it's Duke. So there's a chance down seven, and they didn't convert. A strong take by Wendell Moore. Now that was just by Ohio State, a little cross screen by Justin Arns for Key, and then he was going to get a screen, a screen for the screener action. But Williams was there to challenge at the rim and make it difficult. He's such a presence near the rim. Even if he doesn't block it, you know, this needs to be more like hockey where you get hockey assists and then it would be nice if you could count shot changes in addition to shot blocks. Eight times Ohio State has beaten a number one team where they were unranked the most of any school and young. It shows you again how strong Lentil Moore is. Well, and, and how smart. You know, that was a smart play because he had an angle to just go into his body. Watch how he jumps into him and creates that contact. That's body seeking. And just a, a really smart play by Wendell Moore. How has his body changed? Well, it, it's funny. He's changed his gait, actually. Coach K was telling me that he noticed that 
he was walking with his toes out. So they, they actually did work with their, I don't know whether they call it physiology, but uh, they, they changed the way he, he walks and the way he runs from last year to this year. And he is much more athletic, uh, according to Coach K, and he's actually standing taller. And the results are, are pretty clear. I mean, he's averaging 18 a game, six rebounds, six assists, almost a couple of steals. And it is hard to think of a game that Duke has played where he has not had an excellent floor game. And his leadership has been fantastic. I should try that. Then the open shot would help me rather than three feet shorter than you. Just yeah. maybe two and Anything a half. to make you taller, I think you should do. It would be good. Key in the paint puts it in. It was just getting deep position. And when you can post deep enough where you don't have to make a post move, you've done a great job. And Zed Key just did a great job against Mark Williams. And already one has fouled out for Duke. Williams with four. Another play by Moore. He's just going to take on Justin Orange whenever he's on him. Just turns the corner. There was no weak side help. You have to load to the ball. Now Key trying to get position again. But he threw Williams out of the way and they missed that call. Ten on the shot clock. Good defense by Moore. They get into Williams and another tough shot over Williams said Key. See, the game plan is pretty simple. Trying to get Williams his fifth foul. Well, the advantage goes for the man. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish open up next year's college football season right here against Ohio State. So we'll have a new coach when they take on the Buckeyes next year. Zed Key now has scored the last six. He's got 20. And let's be honest, Reese Davis is not on SportsCenter to talk about the college football playoff. They want his hair yeah. on television for ratings. Foul Keels will go to the line to shoot two. Trevor Keels opened up the season with 25 points against Kentucky. And he may only be 18 years old. And legally, he's an adult, but he is a man. That is one strong guy. Got a tattoo on his shoulder blades, keel mode, which he says is about being yourself, but being in attack mode at the same time. And we've seen that through the course of this season. He rattles that one home. Well, you know, Ohio State knocking on that door, but they get about six or seven down and cannot get any closer. Theo Johns fouled out. Williams, the big fellow in the middle, plays with four fouls. Russell, mistake, but he got away with it. And the alley oop. No! He went with one hand, did Zed Key, and he missed the entire basket. Opportunities missed. Wendell Moore off a, or actually it's Keels and Moore going off a low block screens. A good Ohio State. They have numbers. And we are under 340. We're in the game. Zed Key looked at Arns and said, nope, not yet. Williams doing a nice job of getting around in front. Lane was wide open. Easy layup. And Key set a big screen. And Wheeler had an open lane. Now it's five. We talked about that earlier, how they ducked into the lane to open up that driving lane. And Coach K wants to talk it over. As close as they've been all night. 66-61 with 3.20 to go. The ESPN's exclusive. They're trying to pound Mark Williams as much as they can. He actually is not on the floor right now as we begin last three minutes and 20 seconds 66 61 Jay Billis Carl Ravich Holly Rowe here in Ohio State Duke with a smaller lineup Paolo Bancaro with the five being guarded by EJ Liddell Bancaro kicks to the corner and Baker with three on the shot clock two heels no good Bancaro went up and that ball was tipped by Liddell Adele has 12 rebounds in this game. He's not going to get credit for that one, but he controlled it. 
Huge trip for Ohio State with 2.45 to go. And within five. Wendell Moore on Liddell right now. Liddell's had a, a really good game. Hasn't scored much. 10 points, 12 rebounds. He's got six assists. Oh, Russell had a shot. Many hesitated. Yeah. 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 A big three for Russell. It's a two-point game. Cedric Russell's shooting has been a game changer. They needed that shot in the arm. Duke led this game by 15. Russell has nine. He said all three of his three point field goal attempts. Got a switch now. Bankero will get called for the offensive foul. Bit of a rookie play by Bankero. He had the side. Much more liberal on that. Maybe rightfully so. You mentioned kind of a rookie play there for the freshman. This is the most hostile environment this group has played in all year. And they're on their feet with two to go in a two-point game. This might be a good time to post up Liddell. Maybe he's still 13 on the shot clock. Russell threw up an air ball block. They get Moore, who moved in underneath, and he picks up the foul. Really good job by Russell of attacking that closeout. Because he's been knocking down threes, and that's a good call. Yeah, he slid a little hard. Could have been two different guys fouling. The overwhelming majority of secondary defenders sliding in are blocks. Way too many of them are called chargers. Russell with a chance to tie it. He has not taken a free throw tonight. He's a big time scorer at Louisiana. Average over 16 a game. He's all Sun Belt. Average over 17 last year and hit 76 threes. Well, he's used to scoring. He's been as valuable as anybody on the floor. He missed that free throw, so it's a one point game with a minute 40 to go. Going to take on arms here. Kicked out. Baker had it. Still 10 on the shot clock. Keels will launch. That's short. Liddell rips it away. And Ohio State's got a chance to grab the lead. Well, Liddell has been so good on the glass. I think that's his 13th rebound in this game. 14. Which ties a career high for him. Got caught reaching in. That was a smart play to go into his arm. And it's going to be two free throws now for EJ Liddell. When that State. arm was out, he just went, raked right across. A good rip through by EJ Liddell. Hasn't led this game since it was 15 to 13 with 11.09 left in the first half. And it feels like they've been climbing a mountain ever since. We're tied at 66. He has got such a good shooting touch. Ohio State has really battled in this second half. And a lot of teams would fold up, not Ohio State. Shot halfway down. Williams working the offensive glass. Ripped down by Ohio State. And that's a jump ball. Ohio State's ball. What a rebound by Cedric Russell. For a guard to stick his nose in there and get his nose dirty and grab that rebound. That's big time. What a great rebound. Been a difference maker in this game. Cedric Russell, 10 points. He's got a couple of rebounds. He does not have a turnover. Well, no play he's made in this game was bigger than that rebound. 41 seconds left to go. They got to get the ball in. And uh, Chris Holtman said, we need some help down there. Let's get a timeout.
Ohio State has been in this. And Williams has been playing with four. Moore has four. Bancaro has four. Right now it's about getting the ball inbounded safely. Duke in a face guard. We got Wheeler and Liddell with Russell inbounding it. 11 second difference between the shot clock at 30 and the game clock at 41. Wendell Moore still guarding EJ Liddell. He's going to be down on the baseline. Jamari Wheeler out top. Liddell. Tough shot. Got it! AJ Liddell up to 14. 14 points, 14 assists. Last 10 seconds. Duke down three. Ben Carroll launches. That's too long and too strong, and the Buckeyes grab the rebound. With three seconds to go, they've come all the way back. What a gutsy second half by the Buckeyes. Bancaro settled for the deep three, and all five Buckeyes went after the defensive rebound. Chris Holtman has to be very proud of the resiliency his team has shown in this second half. Now, this can ice the game, and it will be the ninth time that an unranked Ohio State team will beat a number one. It's a double bonus, so he gets two free throws. will do it. They lead it 70-66. And Duke's stay atop the polls will be short-lived. Well, Ohio State, the free throw line was not its friend throughout the course of the game. But down the stretch, when the Buckeyes needed to make free throws, they made them. Russell has been outstanding. Eight of nine free throws down the stretch. And down goes number one. They storm the